So back in the hotel, sitting here was George from Becherovka. Can I say that? That's true, huh? Wh whatever you like, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so George, I have a question. Now we spent two days in a room, which was quite hot, the room at the time, and uh, we talked about, we called it the modern bartender. So my, I, I run around and just ask people what's their thought on when I say modern bartender. You have, some, you, have, you have notes? You prepared that? How did you know that? I, I surprised people with the question. How did you know that? There's only like, there's only like six, six words that would characterize uh, those two days, no, really. He's prepared. No, yeah, no. Do it. No, it's, it's not me being prepared. It's just bad memory. <laughs> Do it. Uh, it's, a, it's a nature. Uh, it's a healthy or better lifestyle of modern bartenders. It's exchange of uh, free information. It's not mis misusing somebody else's money. Uh, and this is not uh, touching that individual bartender, but the entire presentation or I'm just trying to cover by, the, by those characteristics those two days not yeah. uh, connection of uh, the bar with uh, other fields such as uh, chefs uh, coffee tea making etc uh, etc et soft drinks etc etc along with that nature or goes along with the nature Uh, yes, seen, he has two I've sides seen, of notes. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen uh, what really touched touched me was uh, sharing. Of course, we've got so many bar shows where people share knowledge and information from uh, different countries around the world. But those countries and presenters that I've seen, they're quite unique. Uh, they're different. They're original in... Uh, their own way so this is something that I will always remember from this year uh, cocktails and spirits in Paris and Paul so those yes that's probably that's probably that they would be probably the, the basic characteristics of uh, what, what I what I brought from uh, the modern Bart and the and cocktails and spirits you, you're in Prague so is it right Prague mm -hmm. so well, how would you say is the Prague bar scene developing. Is there? A, I mean, I think they catch up very quick, as far as I spot it. I mean, they have super cool bars. I like it. But would you say uh, you have modern bartenders there? Is, it, is there a big progress that there's now? You can see a big movement. Like there's a different style of bartenders like five or ten years ago. They have hundred hundred percent. It's changing. It's uh, in a good way. Ridiculously uh, good. Uh, and I had this chat with a very good friend of mine who is, uh, who is visiting uh, this city as well. He's from Brno, from second largest city in Czech Republic. And we just had this chat about Czech Republic, bar scene in Czech Republic, always visiting other countries, other cities in different countries around the world, mainly in Europe, of course. But what we are missing, okay, we are progressing, Uh, but that progress is based on inspiration, motivation uh, being brought from other countries. Uh, what we had uh, the chat about was that we should not forget about, not forget about who we are and we, we should start talking now about what we are doing in our country. You know, because we always trying to catch, oh, what's happening over there? Let's go to Paris, let's go to Berlin, let's go to uh, other bar shows around the world and let's see what's happening out there. But we just keep forgetting about what's happening in there. We, we keep forgetting about, you know, talking among ourselves. And this is, this is what, uh, what should be really new, new wave and new engine. Uh, in order to progress a little bit more and maybe faster. Mm -hmm. Obviously, everything goes along with economy and, and yes, well, that's not, it's not a rocket science, you know. The, the bar, craft of the bar and, and hospitality in general, we do need healthy economy because, yes. Would you agree on, um, because that's my take on it and my when I think about it, it's like there, there cannot be a modern bartender without the modern bar owner? 
If a hundred percent, well, it's it's like it's like a family. Yeah, we. And I think we are much behind. I mean, now we have lots of changing with the bartenders mm. over the last year. But would you say there's really progressive bar owners, for example, in in your country or somewhere else, like who really like have a program to develop bartenders who are really like? I think the things we talk about is also and many many things are responsible we are we bar owners are responsible for and i think there are not many in my opinion who think about this uh, the good thing about uh, and speaking of my country again uh, a lot of bar owners they are ex bartenders which is you know which is which is which is obviously healthy so they've got a better understanding of uh, what's yeah. happening in a bar in other countries, and obviously we have the opportunity of traveling around the world. In some countries, uh, you have investors, they are bar owners, they would like to have a beautiful bar, uh, but they've never been bartending, they've never been physically behind the bar, so that's crucial, yeah? But if we are asking again uh, about the country that I was born in, uh, yes, I would say like 80% of bar owners If not 90%, they are ex bartenders, so they've got better understanding from of. The new bars, from the cool bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is obviously That's a good better. Start. Yeah, and they don't have investors behind them. Yeah. yeah, it's all like pocket money, whatever they saved or borrowed from friends or family. This is the bars they were built in Czech. Yes, yeah. So, what would you say, finally, the latest and coolest bar to visit in Prague? Latest and coolest bar? Some, some advice, some new bar. You say, this is new, go there. This I didn't is say it's the best, I just say this is new and cool, you know. Somebody that is visiting Prague, yeah, and I should say, okay, I'll take you to this place. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 there's That's no, why I say not the, <laughs> say the newest one. There is, there's no such a thing as my favorite bar, probably. I know, but that's why I say new, new, newest, newest, newest would be probably Le Flair. Uh, Le Fleur, I think we've been to Le Fleur, no? Me? No? Yeah. No, I don't know. Well, I don't know. When was the last time you, you were in Prague? Prague? Was like two years ago. Okay, so Le Fleur is one year. Yeah. yeah. So you will love that place. Great. Yeah. Uh, sli slightly different. And uh, in Brno, uh, Super Panda Circus. Is Alex Fratina involved? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Well, he's he, he's just he's just originating from that city, so he's from Brno. So it was a dedication uh, to, I guess, yeah. There was some friendly agreement happening there, so you would love that place. Never, that's fun. That's yeah, Super Panda Circus, and it's actually a bar that looks like a, like a like a half or like a circus stage, or the bar is actual stage, and then you've got um, the, the the tables. It's kind of like a cascade where people are sitting and they all watch. Uh, they're all watching what's happening at the bar That's so great. so it's a, it's a yeah. we'll check out next time so we have to run for dinner now yeah, yeah. thanks a lot Let's go. Pleasure. bye bye